Hello and welcome back to episode 9 of Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. Let's get on with it, shall we? When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. That almost sounded like a poem. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Fancy. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. What the devil is a visiting card? An embroidered silk handkerchief. So that's it for that, huh? Look at all those cute little pistols in the armory there. Some wrapping paper. Still don't know what's in that jar. Well, let's uh let's just go left to right. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, uh, uh I am Tristram Garrow. What is your occupation? I, I am a councillor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing at the baths? Well, I I follow the researches. I am uh, I interested in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing, but by that I, I apologize. Well, I mean, this is probably a good moment for speaking your truth, unless you did it. What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working with, with a genius. He was a hard man, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. And he, uh, he trusted me, but, uh, oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. I remember. Oh, I... I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh, I, I, I feel bad. I, uh, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. Oh, he is an interesting one, isn't he? Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so, so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well in, in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know. Flying through the air, I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape, I, I don't remember. You saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was shining like, like gold. Hmm. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. His ring! Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring, digging dark secrets. Really? I... Uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. Hmm. The mummy's curse. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I, 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 I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. Should I have hung on to that for something? We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? It didn't help. The power is too strong. Hmm. He did put it there. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? 
What? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. What about the strange color of his sclera? No, not so much badly shaven as not shaven. Not recently, anyway. Could have gathered that already. All right, what are we missing here? It's uh, dirty something, I think. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that, or he is a good actor. On to the Please next one. Escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. <laughs> Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. What is your occupation? I'm an archaeologist, specializing in the Roman period. I'm working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site, and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has, thanks to Sir Rodney. Hmm. Let's have a look at you before we continue. I feel like I should be doing this first. Hmm, there we go. <laughs> the text was off screen because I picked that up too early. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, oh God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room, and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense, and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting. But we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck. And with all the steam, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Garrow couldn't harm a fly. <laughs> Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan Ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself? Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, 
He has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. And he's probably been overdoing it with those drugs of his. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. This nice. letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Uh, yes. But since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? No, I did not. Well, I guess we're done with you. And how about Mr. Please Pitkin? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. <clears throat> My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Uh, yes. Until I'm through with you. <laughs> In case we hadn't noticed that already. we're missing here. You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? You were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious. Authoritarian. Unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. Then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow. But I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the Baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Baths' publicity. Though yes, I changed my mind. Hmm. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Well, uh, no. Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. Did you bring a bottle of champagne to the baths? 
Absolutely not. So Rodney did, I think. So that's it for the interviews for now. What do we got for clues? Oh, look at that. <clears throat> no? Britannia Silver. Mm -hmm. I haven't made any deductions yet, and I have an awful lot of clues for it, too. Um, yeah, let's go check out Sir Rodney's body. Where do I... Oh, we go down to the morgue to do that. Of course. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion. But there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. Are we to accept that? An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. Hmm. Some light bruising, caused by a rope. The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. Why aren't there any of those on his front? Alright, so now I believe there is a deduction I can make right away. Um, Sir Rodney's lie... And what? How come? How come there's nothing here from the How annoying. I think we're gonna have to tell the police that we want the frigidarium reopened. What do you have to say for what yourself? What should we do next, Holmes? Useful as always. Yeah, so there, it's definitely saying that there's something I can deduce. I don't feel like it right now. What do you have to say about that? Off to the baths. Still with the Dostoevsky, huh? So Garrow described the knife as shining as if it was gold. So maybe the silver is not, in fact, the destroyed weapon. Or maybe... Maybe that's a red herring. When I hit this... Looked at that. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. So there's nothing to detect except for the switch, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping. Oh, I can't turn it unless I'm in the mode. Okay. All right, then.
It's nice that the room transitions so quickly. I don't think I have anything further to look at there. How pure is Britannia silver? These baths are becoming sinister. Yeah, it sort of makes them more exciting, doesn't it? Anything else to look at in here, I wonder? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if I have sufficient cause to ask for them to be moved. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's do some deducing. There we go. So he had a secret. Yeah, that sounds good. And that gives us something to do next. But are we, is that really all we can deduce right now? Item of silver recently melted in the brazier, yeah. Cool story. see about the expedition then. I'm betting that it's archive time. Let's try the archive. Mr. Holmes? All right. To Baker Street. I think Watson's notebook might be closed. <laughs> All right, can we? Yes, we can. Not chemistry, not poison and toxins. Not wounds and injuries. Hmm. Maybe. Don't think so. History? Roman history? Not the one I Why not? Early... Eighteen ninety three was a remarkable year for my work in Egypt. I should pay better attention to that, shouldn't I? There we go, and Bentcliff's mummy. There we go. Here it is. By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. A mummy was found with an enucleated eye and posed in an unusual position. The right hand was tensed, as if reaching out for someone or so, for something or to someone. The mummy was buried upright. She's been named the Desperate Mummy due to her very peculiar characteristics. Nearby could be read in Latin, by the eye he was punished, for he saw what he was not worthy. The mummy is believed to be Roman rather than Egyptian, as some symbols found in the tomb are in common with the Mithraic mysteries. So it says she here, and he here. I wonder what that's about. So does that give us another another clue? 
No? What about these Mithraic mysteries? My archive. I oh, can come on. always consult with it if needed. Nothing to do there. What should we do next, Holmes? What indeed, Watson? to these people some more. So we know from the marks on his back that he was descending somewhere. And it doesn't appear that he was descending somewhere in the steam side, so it must have been in the Frigidarium, right? What else do we have to talk to these men about? I'm trying to rest. I'm not sure that I can be helpful at the moment. Do you have something else to ask me? Yep, yeah, so that's that. Do we have any more business with the corpse? I don't think so. I think it said we were done down here. Yeah, that's all green. What's over this away? Not somewhere we can go. think we have any business here either. Yeah. So it's gotta be it's gotta be at the bats that we've gotta do something. Maybe there's a clue in the workshop that we need to look at. There's gotta be something that's gonna unlock the option to have the frigidarium reopened. to everyone in this room. Except we haven't talked to Watson I'm while he's here. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Yeah, me too. The champagne is just going to continue to sit there, I guess. So here we are again. I find it a little strange that the glasses are left there. Did we ever confront the young man about the key? I don't think we did. And I don't think he has anything to say to us either. All these events are bad for the baths. And my job. Yeah. Although it's not open to the public, so what exactly is the problem? Just open it, please. Please? Just, just open. Those stones wait. It does not matter. Well, that's, that's what I want. It does not. Just open it. We don't have many leads here. Ain't that the truth? What am I missing here? No, 
There's nothing there. Oh. So we have to go back to Baker Street to find the same place on the map? Ugh. Oh. Okay, well, we're all out of time for episode 9. Come back and see me again in episode 10 when we will be at Baker Street and we will go find this place on the map. Talk to you soon.